Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a buckaroo bowl on a palm leaf hat. Usually when you get them, they kind of look crazy all over. So the first thing we'll do is get it wet, get it flat, and then I'll show you how to do that bowl. Okay, so I got it completely wet and all I'm going to do at first is try to get it flattened out as best I can. It will have some of a memory just from either the way it was stacked, um, honestly, just heat, different things like that will make it either want to pop up or do some goofy things like that. For the most part, you're not going to get everything perfect. If it's bothering you, you can go to the side of, of your table, kind of push down. You're not going to hurt anything. Just get it to where it kind of wants to lay more flat everywhere. You can see that. What I'm doing there kind of helped a bunch. I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and flat. Then I'm going to make sure I know which is the back and which is the front. It's not going to ruin it if you mess it up. But on these hats, they have a little stitch here where the two bindings come together, the two binded edges come together. You can also take your hat up. It has a stitch in the back there. Cross hatch, you can find all of those markers. You can certainly put it on your head and make sure you know exactly where the center is. That's going to change sometimes left or right. But I'm generally going to follow those stitches, at least on these buckaroo hats, you don't have to be as specific. So to do that bowl, I'm going to hold the hat by the crown, and then I'm just going to pick it up, and I'm going to try to bend the hat really close to the crown. Usually this is something that you kind of have to make a decision if you're going to do this style or not. It's not necessarily good to bend a hat right there, but I just try to take it straight back, and then I can rock it left, I can rock it right, and just try to get it to start to work up. Okay, and you can kind of see that. I don't know if where that whole thing is coming up. Now, if you want it to curl as well, so this is coming up towards it, you're going to have to do this by hand. So what I do is I pinch it with my thumbs and my pointer finger, and I just hold one and pull the other. Hold one and pull the other. You can decide how far out you want that, that curl to be, but it all starts with that buckaroo bowl roll and then you can bring more um, if you want to stay higher you can keep your hands closer there or if you want to be more like a cigar roll just keep your hands out here and work it up you might have to do this a couple different times you can see how far i pulled that hand that time then i can flatten below it and pull some more i'll just give you a little visual of what doing that does i can make it a little more aggressive by putting that bowl in there again but you can see from a profile, not only does it tip up, but it also starts to curl. So that's kind of how you would put somewhat of a buckaroo bowl in the back of this hat. And then you can go to the front and decide, do you want that all the way around? Or do you want to bring the front down? Things like that. But that's kind of how on these palm leaves you start a buckaroo bowl. You can do that with felt. It's a much harder process, but that's kind of the way that we do it with these. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cover channel.